Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Here's our thought for today. What goes around, comes around. You've heard the term, so have I. What goes around, comes around. What does that apply to? All kinds of stuff. And that's one of the messages of Proverbs. What goes around, comes around. And remember, Proverbs is not uh, like biblical didactic teaching saying everything that's being said is an absolute law or absolute principle. Proverbs is a gathering of wisdom, which is generally true. And you say, well, wait a minute, all the Bible is true. Yes, it is. But Proverbs are giving guidelines for life that are generally true. So what goes around, comes around is generally true, but not absolutely true all the time and not in our timing. So, so listen to these words uh, from Proverbs chapter 21, verse 12. And, and let the Lord speak to your heart. Whoever shuts their ears to the cry of the poor will also cry out and not be answered. That's what goes around, comes around declaration. Let me read it again. Whoever shuts their ears to the cry of the poor will also cry out and not be answered. It's a broad principle. It's giving a specific illustration, but this applies to lots of areas of life. But let's stay with a specific illustration. This is saying, if you see the needs of the poor, if you hear the cries of the poor and you actively close your ears, close your eyes, ignore it. What Proverbs says is when you come to that place that you're in need, there's a high probability that people are going to ignore you too. If they've watched how you've lived and you've been uncompassionate and uncaring, it's unlikely that people are going to turn around and show you the compassion you wouldn't show to others. Does this apply to how God would treat us? I'm not exactly sure. I'm I'm not here to declare that exactly. But I I do believe that spiritually we reap what we sow, what goes around comes around, not absolutely, not all the time, but there's a broad principle here. And so when you see needs, don't shut your eyes. When you see needs, don't plug your ears. Rather open your heart and say, Lord, how would I want to be helped or cared for or prayed for or treated or supported if I was in this time of need? if there's a real legitimate need that someone has and you have the capacity to extend the grace of Jesus, why not? Why not? Some of the greatest joys in life are coming alongside of those who are going through a tough time and letting Jesus pour through you. And so listen to this one more time. Whoever shuts their ears to the cry of the poor will also cry out and not be answered. God, give us eyes to see and ears to hear and hearts to feel with those who are hurting. And when we can make a difference, when we can help, give us the power to do that. Give us the courage to do that. When you've provided for us in a way that we can provide for others, let us do it in your name and for your glory. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.